we now have to talk about special cases of systems of equations. I can have an inconsistent or a dependent system. An inconsistent system is where I have two equations that are parallel lines, so there is no point of intersection, so there is no solution. Or I can have a dependent system when one line is exactly on top of another, so it represents the same line. If that's the case, the whole line is the solution. It's the set of all points on the line. So we'll do an example of each. An inconsistent system means there is no solution. I have parallel lines. So if I have something like this, x minus 3y equals 6, and minus 4x plus 12y equals 8. To solve a system by addition, we need matching coefficients opposite signs. So, I can either go for matching 4s or matching 12s. So we'll go for matching 4s. So I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 4. Then if you remember, I have to decide if I need to make this a negative. Right now, I will have a plus 4x and a minus 4x, so I don't have to make this a negative. I have matching coefficients, opposite signs. So here we go. I get 4x minus 12y equals 24. I have minus 4x plus 12y equals 8. If you notice, most of our systems, one of the variables went to 0. All of a sudden, everything goes to 0. Hmm, so I have a 0. Over here, my signs were like add, I get 32. Well, 0 can never equal 32. So this gives me an impossibility. So this is impossible, so there is no solution. So if I have no solution, it's called an inconsistent system. A dependent system. Let's say I have x plus 5y equals 2 and I have minus 2x, minus 10y equals negative 4. I'm going to solve the system. So, I guess we'll get rid of our x's. I'll multiply this whole equation by a 2. Again, just a positive 2 because my 2x's will go to 0. So here we go. I get 2x plus 10y equals 4. This one. I have minus 2x minus 10y equals negative 4. So if you notice, this goes to 0, this goes to 0, but, huh, that goes to 0. So that means 0 equals 0. So that means it's the identical line. If I graph this and I graph this, one will be exactly on top of the other. If that's the case, it's called a dependent system and I have infinitely many solutions.